Moments ago on the field, Jeffrey Simmons with the chain. Is it to say, you shall not pass? And Alabama players don't like that. The Bulldogs sideline roaring. So is everybody else with Cowbill in hand here at Mississippi State. Nick Saban's last loss against Mississippi State was his first year as the head coach at Alabama. The Tide won the toss, deferred selection, so Mississippi State will start on offense. J.K. Scott putting it away. And Mississippi State will start on the 25-yard line. You talk about Dak Prescott, who was the predecessor for Nick Fitzgerald and what he did for Dan Mullen's team and what he's doing now in the NFL. Big shoes to fill. Fitzgerald has done a pretty good job so far. Coming into tonight, third and ten, another pass play instead. Fitzgerald is sacked back at the 12 by Rashawn Evans. Maybe Alabama's best player defensively. And goes full speed to bring down Fitzgerald. Great start to the Alabama defense. And Greg, that's only the sixth sack allowed by Mississippi State. Good punt, though. Fair caught by Marks at the 34-yard line. And here comes Jalen Hurts. Leaping penalty on the punt called against the top. And they're going to run. Aris Williams able to break a tackle. And a gain of eight yards out to the 38-yard line. So and here's here the penalty. Cook on the punt. And the defender for Alabama going over the top. Williams again. And good push by that offensive line, which Greg, you said, is the best offensive line that Bama's played this season. So they spread him out here on second down and seven. Fitzgerald, a lot of his passes have been high. This one's on the money for a first down to Reggie Todd. Into Bama territory at the 44-yard line. Last year, they couldn't score when they got into Bama territory. Will tonight be different? Fitzgerald on the rollout. And the pass is caught by Mitchell. Osiris Mitchell getting worked tonight because of all the injuries they have. Yeah, they got a walk-on freshman kicker who hasn't missed this year, but he also hasn't kicked one from this length. They hand it off to Williams. He is stopped. Deron Payne, the nose man, with the hit. Alabama had a leaping penalty trying to block a punt earlier on this drive. And you see there, they won't even try. Beautifully done, Mississippi State all over that. Great punt, and Chris Rayford was down there for the Bulldogs. Hurts gets hit, spun down at the five-yard line. Sacked by JT Gray. After retiring, his father became Nick's football coach. It's Fitzgerald with a back shoulder throw that's caught. Jordan Thomas to the 34-yard line of Alabama. Let's see if you can get some surge. Between the tackles or perimeter? Perimeter. Instead, Fitzgerald straight ahead, bouncing off the tackle inside the 15-yard line. Second and seven. Williams again down to the five. Mississippi State. They bring pressure. Hurts pass pulled in for a first down. Ridley wide open. He makes a defender miss and still going. Ridley past the 30-yard line. Ridley to the 10. And finally they get him out of bounds the six-yard line. Hurts will run off the left side, stiff-arming, lunging, and they mark him down at the one-yard line. Second and goal from the one, that's Scarborough in the backfield at 240 pounds, but it's Hurts going to the perimeter, and pushed out of bounds, but he got in, touchdown Alabama. Fitzgerald on third and four with time. Broken up, incomplete. Minka Fitzpatrick, oh, a flag is thrown. Fitzpatrick looked like he made a good play on the football. Holding against an eligible receiver, number six of the defense. 
So Minka Fitzpatrick out for this play because he lost his helmet. Mississippi State on second and ten. Going to run Harris Williams who had the touchdown earlier. And he gets a first down here. It's the third time already Mississippi State has been in Alabama territory. Fitzpatrick. Throws to the sideline. It's caught. And fighting for the first down is Justin Johnson as he's able to break a tackle and move the sticks. Eight Under Armour All-Americans are on the field right now for right. Alabama on defense. Yeah, and some of those guys are backups, including Le Brian Ray, a true freshman who's in. Williams off the left side. And close to the first down. Inside the 30. Fitzgerald fakes, now throws, caught inside the 10-yard line for Rod Green. Another tight end, down to the five, first and goal. First and goal. Harris Williams into the end zone for his second touchdown. The Dogs came to play. Play action for Hurts, and a dump it off to Hinches the tight end. Out near the 34. He knows what to look for from an intangible standpoint. On second and short, they run Josh Jacobs, and he's able to get the first down to the 38-yard line. You know, guys, this is the first series that Alabama has been backed up in the closed end of this field. Time to throw for Hurts. Climb in the pocket, but everybody covered, so he takes off. Now airs it out. Ridley is free again. Pushed out of bounds at the one. That's twice Mississippi State has forgotten about the best player on the field for Alabama. On first and goal, Jacobs into the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama. Both touchdowns set up by huge pass plays to Ridley. On the goal line, here's Reggie Todd, hit at the 10, and down he goes, but a flag. Block in the back, return team, number 29. Half the business in the goal, first down. The first time, first time, Greg, we've seen this field position flipped in Alabama's favor. Fitzgerald keeping it, able to get outside, and he's able to get the first down, scooting out of bounds. They go empty here on first half in the 17. Fitzgerald. Great catch at the 40-yard line, then it comes out. Thomas had it, but just couldn't hang on. Second and 10, Fitzgerald running in trouble and slammed down Rashawn Evans. That's two tackles for a loss tonight for Evans. Ten punts this season for Cook have gone more than 50 yards. Mississippi State could use one of those right here. And it is an excellent punt. Marks, make the kick, but able to fall on it at the 17-yard line. And Dable's done a really good job with Hurts, improving his game as a passer. Third down, back shoulder to Ridley, and it's incomplete. Alabama will have to punt. But look, he's out of bounds there. Does he reestablish to begin with? It doesn't look like he reestablishes himself. It doesn't look like it to me. So close. Of course, on these reviews, there has to be indisputable video evidence. And they're looking to see if he went out on his own first, or was he pushed out? And again, After further like review, a little player possessed the ball and was inbounds when he, when he grabbed it. He also stepped out of bounds, hard to touch. Therefore, it's a foul for a legal touch at number yeah. three. Yeah. It's an incomplete pass. It's still four down. A huge third and one here for Mississippi State. And they're going to hand it off, and it's a first down for Kylan Hill. True freshman from Columbus, Mississippi. Alabama rushes five, and a deep ball through the hands of the intended receiver, Reggie Todd. But Tony Brown jumped in front. That may have distracted the receiver. Another missed opportunity on a deep ball, though, for Mississippi State. Mark's going to let this one go, and it checks up at the two.
starts a design quarterback run. Gets the first down. Out to the 18-yard line. <laughs> Point to first down in the 17. Hurts to the air. Climbing the pocket, delivering a strike. Cam Sims on the catch out to the 35. And let's see now if Alabama uses a timeout. I guarantee you, all the players are saying cover number three. Because he's the guy they've lost twice for big plays. It's a quarterback draw. And Hurts out to the 40. Dan Mullen should call a timeout here. On fourth down, and he does with 32 seconds to go. So they'll have one timeout when they get the ball back. But you also have an excellent punter in J.K. Scott. Well, it's interesting because they didn't go for the block, and now they're not going to go for yardage. They're, they're just taking a knee here. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. You're on your own 28-yard line. Take it to half. Don't let anything catastrophic happen. Feel good about where you're at. We're all even at 14 apiece. Number one Georgia has already gone down. Well, number two Alabama lose tonight in Starkville. Tied at halftime. And that stat right there is what really we've seen all year as they run Jacobs on a jet sweep here on the first play. Pinballs forward for a first down to the 37-yard line. But you look at Ridley coming into the game, 44 catches. The rest of the team has right around 44. Simmons and Sweat continue to push Alabama offensive linemen. Number two all time and catches at Alabama behind Amari Cooper. Hurts to the air. Short pass to Jacobs. And Jacobs able to stiff arm. And then Jacobs lowers the shoulder to the 44 yard line gain of seven. They can't allow that to happen again if they want to win tonight. They fake the jet sweep and run Harris. Big hole inside the 40. Finally, down to the 10 yard line, Brandon Bryant tackles Harris. And Bryant shaken up on the play. Abram suspended for the first half of this week's game. Hurts is hit in the backfield and dropped. That's a huge play for Mississippi State. Papanostas on for a 30 yard field goal. Try to get Alabama its first lead. 17 14. The tide in front. Got Harris Williams in the backfield with him. Williams had 14 carries, 60 yards in the first half. Fitzgerald keeping here, trying to get outside. Has the first down. And tackled out of bounds by Rashawn Evans. It is hard to outrun Rashawn Evans. Here's second and four at midfield. And a pass out of the backfield. Great catch by Gibson. First down to the 41. Well, you know when he comes into the game, there's a great chance they're going to throw it to him. Second and six on the 37 of Alabama. Fitzgerald to throw. And out of the backfield, it's pulled in by Williams. Able to get the first down. Out of the 29, pushed out by Rudy Jones. It's first and 10, right on the fringe of the red zone. Alabama only gives up 10 points per game. They've allowed 14 so far. Mississippi State going for more. As that pass is knocked away. And it's picked off. I thought it was intercepted by Holcomb. They ruled it incomplete, but I think it may have stayed off the ground there. Be interesting to see what they call here. They just run the ball, try to get more yardage to make it an easy kick. Nope. Fitzgerald will throw on third and ten. Now he takes off. He's at the 25-yard line. And close to the first down. Look at the quarterback lower the shoulder and drill the defensive back, Tony Brown, to get the first down. All those injured linebackers for Alabama, second and seven. Here's Williams on the cutback. Oh, he goes up high into the air to get the first down. First and goal at the three. And it is Fitzgerald rolling out, looking to run, gets hit, and drives through the defender in the end zone. Touchdown! His backup is a true freshman if something were to keep Fitzgerald from continuing second and ten. And Hurts gets hit. Hurts gets out of there. They're trying to rip the ball out. Hurts does a good job to hold on to it. He's still taken down for a sack at the 23, bringing up third and long. And he's stoic. He, he does not change emotion at all through our 10-minute conversation. So he can handle these moments. Third and nine. And he's right on cue with a beautiful pass. And Mixon is free. Down to the 41 of Alabama. 
three to one time of possession. Mississippi State over Alabama. They have to get just past the 28 yard line. And Fitzgerald will throw. And the receiver comes free as the defender slips. It's Dedrick Thomas inside the corner. Thomas still going. All the way to the 11 yard line for 25 yards. Fitzgerald rolling out, looking, lobbing in zone. Incomplete. Going for Jordan Thomas. And then after the play, pushing and shoving going on on the goal line, the officials have not thrown a flag yet. Chase Crispin has not missed this season. He's 8 of 8 on field goal trucks. And he stays perfect and extends the Bulldog lead to 7. 24, 17. There is a penalty flag down, though. Mentioned that winning streak of 30 straight regular season victories. Off the left side, it's Jacobs, and he gets good yardage, about seven. Was at Georgia for a bit, and at Louisville the last couple years. Here's Hertz taking off. Beautiful move by Hertz, and then look at Hertz lower the boom on McLaurin. Out to the 33 for eight yards. And we are so thankful for all those who have served or are currently serving in the military. First down for Alabama on its 33, trailing by seven. Here's Josh Jacobs to the outside, getting the first down. To the 47-yard line, a 14-yard run for Jacobs. Hurts will keep it here. He's got running room, breaks a tackle. Again, you see the strength and then the speed. To the 40-yard line, 14 yards in the ground there for Hurts. And Hurts will throw. Blitz coming. Hurts is sacked at the 45-yard line. Mark McLaurin. Man, every time they brought him with pressure, McLaurin's made a play. Big play and great call by Todd Grantham trying to catch Alabama's offense sleeping. It's second and 15. Here's Jacobs turning it upfield and stepped out around the 34-yard line. Third down and four. Pass play. Hurts setting up and the pass in the dirt and ruled incomplete intended for Devontae Smith. up and runs and has the first down past the 25 down to the 21 smart play saw that everybody was covered always seems to make the right decisions hurts to the left side twirl to the turf at the 14 but that's seven yards on first down here comes pressure harris straight ahead first down and more and peter down a chance for the tie to tie it. But a penalty on Alex Leatherwood took his helmet off and went and celebrated with the team while he wasn't in the game. So they got him for a penalty. So Alabama's kicking from the 20-yard line. It bounces at the 20. And here's Todd past the 30. Todd to the 40-yard line. Adnan Burke in the studio. Fitzgerald's been pretty good in that department as well tonight. Harris Williams getting the carry. Beautiful stutter step. He just darted forward after he waited for a heartbeat. Picks up eight yards. Harris Williams closing in on 100 yards. He'll get it again on second and two. And again does a great job of being patient. Picks up the first down. 21 carries now for Harris Williams. Fitzgerald will throw on third and eight. Fires to the sideline. It's caught, but short of the line to gain. Thomas on the catch. Fitzpatrick in coverage, and he got fourth and about three. Dragging down big number nine is no easy task. Scarborough again. Got the first down and more. Out to the 36, 10 yards for Bo Scarborough. They went Harris, Jacobs, and now Scarborough. Third straight carry for Scarborough. To the 40-yard line, another first down. Stepped out near midfield. 13 more yards, five and a half to go. First down to the Alabama 49. Here's Harris off the right edge, and Harris has running room past the 40-yard line. Gets upended inside the 35, but it's all about the run game here in the fourth quarter for Alabama. 
They blitz on third and long. Hurts taking a shot to Ridley down the field. Incomplete. All but a flag. A flag thrown at Chris Rayford. There was contact. There's Harris leading the backfield. Hurts on the run. Drag down for a sack by Jeffrey Simmons. Although, wait a second, Hurts was acting as if he landed on the defender, Simmons, but they blew the whistle. Empty backfield to see Harris leaving and going wide to the right. Hurts trying to find a running lane. It's not there. He sacked it down to 23 by Green. It'll be a 41-yard try. I think Dan Mullen's going to opt to run the football. That's been the point of least resistance so far for Mississippi State tonight. Well, they snap it with about 15 on the play clock. Take a shot down the field, and it's picked off. Oh, no, Hootie Jones dropped it. He had it, and he rolled over and couldn't maintain possession. And you only have one timeout. Fitzgerald, design run. He's going nowhere. And Alabama will call a timeout to stop the clock with one 15 to go, or will they? No. Yeah, they do. They, they Papanasas just missed a 41-yarder. His long in the season is 46. Keep that in mind here. On second and nine, Hurts over the middle. It's caught by Ridley at the 45. First down to the 48-yard line. Hurts will throw on second down. He gets hit. And he's sacked. At the 43-yard line, Alabama has to use a timeout. See the Bulldogs are showing blitz there. Hurts waiting. There they come. Hurts to Ridley. Got it at the 45, at the 40. Ridley gets Alabama in field goal range, stepping out at the 26 with 31 seconds to go. Hurts over the middle. It's caught inside the 10 yard line. Broken tackle. Devontae Smith. Touchdown, Bama. Fitzgerald in trouble, chased out of the pocket. On the run, gets hit, got to get rid of the ball. Now he lets it fly and it's caught. And out of bounds is Todd with 16 seconds to go. And they're at the 49-yard line of Alabama. Alabama drops four guys deep into the end zone. Fitzgerald backing up. Now stepping up, letting it fly. Into the end zone. It is knocked away, incomplete, but a flag. A flag is thrown with no time left. Alabama's rushing the field, but we may have one more play here in Starkville. Pass interference, defense number 42. 15 yard penalty, give me a spot. Automatic first down. So 15 yard penalty, no time left. Final play, unless a penalty on Alabama. Fitzgerald backs up. Now launches it into the end zone, and he throws it too far. He throws it out of the back of the end zone. The game is over. Alabama survives. Number one goes down. Number three about to fall, but number two wins tonight. Come from behind fashion in Starkville.